Well, hey, good morning and welcome. It's Dan McDonald. You're listening to the Dan McDonald Show on AM 800 CKLW. Thanks so much for tuning in. Since 1980, it's a name I know very well, being uh, a part of our local music, uh, sorry, local theater scene. Windsor Feminist Theater has written, created, developed, produced, presented hundreds of socially relevant, groundbreaking, thought-provoking, important productions to thousands of audience members, and their upcoming production is coming uh, coming up at one of my uh, one of my favorite theater spaces in the city, Cortisone Theater on Saturday. It sounds fascinating. Dominatrix on trial. The story of the infamous Canadian dominatrix, Terry Jean Bedford. Uh, joining us on the phone right now to talk about the production is artistic director at Windsor Feminist Theatre, Patricia Fell. Patricia, good morning and uh, great talking to you as always. Hi, Dan. Thanks so much for having us on and taking an interest in this piece. Oh, it sounds so unbelievably fascinating. And for those who don't know, before we talk about the production, can you just really quickly tell us who Terry Jean Bedford was? Yes, uh, she's a Windsor native. And um, she, she actually was busted in Windsor uh, for prostitution. She went on to become Canada's most infamous dominatrix in Toronto, where she ran a bondage bungalow, which was raided uh, September 15th, 1994. And that took her on an incredible journey all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada, where she was victorious. So she's been... Uh, instrumental in changing prostitution laws in Canada. Incredible. Talk about breaking ground, like you said, for prostitution, for sex workers, as far as rights go. So so many legal battles. And to this day, I mean, it is still a topic that ruffles a lot of feathers. And Dominatrix on Trial, it's making its world debut, which is great that it's happening with Windsor Feminist Theatre and right here in Windsor, since she's from Windsor. But as I understand, this was uh, this play, co-written by her and Joey Olette, was based on her book, I believe. Yes, that's correct. Um, it's based on two of her books, actually, um, Dominatrix on Trial and Bondage Bungalow Fantasies. So um, there's um, uh, instances that are, are informed by both of the books. Anything that she says is literally her words, the words that she used in court cases and whatnot. Mm, amazing. And the show itself is obviously going to touch down on her legal battles. Is it going to dive into her work as a dominatrix, too? Oh, it certainly is. Yes. Um, we've uh, done a lot of work to make this uh, stage worthy. Um, and we are working with an intimacy coach from Oberlin College, Kari Barkley, uh, on how to do it uh, so everyone is safe. Right. Um, uh, but, yeah, it's it's really important to understand the context of her work, what what she offered to people and um, and how important it really was to people for their lives to to make them um, feel normal. Absolutely, it, 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 I cannot wait to see this. The production itself sounds like such a, a, such an amazing spectacle. And I want to ask you what the cast uh, playing uh, Tara Jean Bedford is. Uh, you have Rebecca Mickle. Yes, uh, Rebecca is a young artist from a local artist from Amherstburg. She did her Masters of Music Theatre, or not Music Theatre, sorry, uh, Opera Music Performance at Wayne State. And she's been acting with a few different companies in the area for um, quite some time now, both, both here and across the border. She was originally cast to be mistress assistant, and we, we had to do some recasting and so we gave, said well give it a shot Rebecca <laughs> and she has taken it on like with a fury she's doing an amazing job I can't wait and I believe too the music by uh, by Trevor Malcolm as well I'm really excited to see his name here yeah um, he'll be leading a music ensemble a three-piece um, then and they'll be doing the soundscape uh, so there won't be any canned music. It's all it's all live, multi sensory effects. I, I love that, and I know Tara Jean Bedford too. She will be there opening night for book signings, which makes it extra special too. Yeah, um, uh, yep. So um, people can purchase a book. We're also um, having uh, dominatrix paper dolls for sale that were created by Colette Bradeurs, Le Papier Terre Vert. And um, Terry Jean would be happy to sign those as well. But yeah, everybody will have a chance to to have a, a little bit of a chat with her after the show and have their um, their book signed. And it's it's really exciting to have her down here. We were a week away from opening when we got shut down by COVID in 2020, 
And we tried again to put the show up um, in in the last two years a couple of times. And so this time it's like, oh, my God, it's really happening. <laughs> right, it's happening. I'm so glad. It, it sounds so cool. It really does. And this, I believe this is going to be your final production as artistic director leading Windsor Feminist Theatre, which is amazing. You are moving on. Um, what What is next for you, Patricia? Um, I'm taking over the um, artistic direction of Stone and Sky, uh, which is the Peely Island Stone and Sky music and art series full-time it's grown so much it really needs full-time artistic direction and i just can't do both anymore so uh 15 years with wft it's it's been good it's been challenging and uh Time to move over to the island now. I love it. Well, you know, you, you've made such an impact in our local art scene. It, it really is the, the influence. I can't even put into words how much influence uh, you brought. So a huge thank you for that as someone who's involved somewhat in our arts community. Uh, really, really influential. I've always about, admired WFT. And I'll just ask you, you know, this show, it's coming up. I'm going to give the, the times and dates and where to get tickets and whatnot. But Dominatrix on Trial, you know, working with this show, what is your takeaway from Domin Dominatrix on Trial? And what do you hope the audience takes away from this? I hope that people will understand the importance of um, safe working conditions for all. We, we specifically are doing this as a part of Mayworks Festival, um, looking at um, health and safety policies. Um, we did a, a show a couple of years ago called Big Green Sky, which was about murdered and missing Indigenous women. And again, it was looking at those health and safety factors that, that lead, lead people um, to, to be abused and killed in, in these lines of work. And the importance of sex work as a, a legitimate profession that um, um, does a lot to help people deal with their own demons. Wow, amazing. It, it sounds absolutely fascinating. I know Dominatrix on Trial runs May 5th, 6th, and 7th at 8 p.m. at Cortisone Theatre. They're on 2520 Seminole Street. Uh, doors are at 7, and tickets are available now through Eventbrite. If you do a search, you know, search Eventbrite and Dominatrix on Trial to get tickets. If you follow me on Twitter as well, Dan Mac 800 I posted the link to get tickets there. But Patricia Fell, break a leg to you and the entire cast of Dominatrix on Trial. It sounds important, edgy, thought-provoking, provocative, fascinating, everything that I associate with WFT. Really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much, Dan. We'll look forward to seeing you there.